Hey, what up, people? It's good to be with you again. Welcome back. It's Richard Ng here, and today it's going to be all about the cotton. It's Egyptian cotton. It's the Rolls Royce of cotton, and it's called Claude Cotton, made for vapors. to have come across this from one of my usual brick and mortar shops i pay 20 ringgit for this little bag of you know cotton in it uh this is cloth cotton and it is 100 percent egyptian cotton you know what they say about egyptian cotton when you have a t-shirt made from egyptian cotton it's going to last you forever absorption of sweat is really really good so that's the same thing they use in this cotton for vapors and it's supposed to be made for vapors it's also you know the rolls royce of cotton they claim and uh, been using it for about a week right now you know in all my drippers and tanks as well and you know what i think this is it i have found my cotton <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is get up close with it with you and uh, let you have a really good look at the cotton take it out spread it apart you know and compare it to other cottons as well things like your cojinjo your cell cotton your fiber wigs your organic uh, cotton balls and things like that and see how it matches up to this then we're gonna vape on it i'll tell you what i think about it all right catch you in a bit let's do it all right, a quick close look at the uh, cloth cotton that I have in this little sachet here made of cloth. It says cloth cotton, that's their logo here. And on the front it says the Rolls Royce of cotton, 100% uh, organic Egyptian cotton made for vapors. And at the back you have uh, some you know, markings there, naturally hand-picked, no pesticides, combed fibers, no coloring, no chemicals, no bleach, ready to vape, no boiling necessary, and you have a website there, clotcotton.com, although if you go to their website, it's still under construction, so I presume they're fairly new. Not sure which country this is made from, but that's how it is. 20 ringgit for this little bag here. In there, you have a plastic bag with the cotton, and this is how it looks like. Not very much for 20 ringgit actually, but it is great to work with. Uh, in fact, I'm going to get up even closer and show you, snip a bit of it and uh, compare it to other cottons and show you uh, the cotton fiber itself. I have here in my hand is the uh, cloth cotton, 100% Egyptian cotton. Right, if you just take a look at it, it is so fine. Uh, the fibers are really straight, lined up, you know, there you go. Let's take a look at the cotton. I'm going to just spread them out a little bit for you. Just look at it. And when you want to pick them out, it's so easy. You just pull it and it just comes off very easily. See? That is the cotton. Egyptian cotton. 100%. So easy to work with. You can take however much you like and just pull it out and it comes out like that. Easy. And then just have to roll it. And to roll it is so easy yeah beautiful lovely and it's so smooth nice look at the uh, horizontal uh, strands that you have here that's why they say they use this combing process It's not exactly white but it's just a slight brownish tinge you see they all come up so easily very very nice you know, and you put them together. I'm just going to put that aside. And you try and rip it. It's solid. See, you can't tear it. I'm using so much strength to tug and pull it. That is how strong it is. Compare that to Kojendo. This is Kojendo, which I kind of like as well. Yeah. It's also tough, but still, it breaks. All right. It's not that bad, but that's Kojendo. All right very straight as well so this is uh, cellu cotton I have here okay fairly easy to work with okay but uh, pull it it's pretty tough tougher than kojendo right but still it breaks right and then you have fiber wicks okay I this is supposed to be a very very good cotton but I have problem trying to roll it okay firstly trying to spread it apart okay I gotta cut it okay so fine it's like cojendo I cut it okay with my snips and to roll it it is not the easiest thing to do because no matter how you try to roll it unless your fingers are wet then you can get the tip if your fingers are dry 
it's very hard to roll it. Okay, now I can. Okay, okay, but this is, you see, it breaks off so easily. This is fiber wicks. And lastly, with your organic cotton. Okay, organic cotton, you can see this, they all clump together and all cloth cotton. This is so nice and fine. Okay, try and get it closer for you to have a really good look. Fantastic absorption as well. I'm going to try and, you know, pour some liquid onto this and let you have a look. Sorry about the white on white. Uh, let me just try and put some liquid on it. See how it absorbs, how fast it absorbs in there. Just check it out. The absorption is fantastic as well. So there you go. Those are the comparisons with your other cottons. That's uh, cloth cotton for you, 100% Egyptian cotton. We'll get back topside, talk about it again. Honestly, I've been enjoying it. It's so easy to work with. No chemicals used to clean the uh, cotton. They use something called the combing process. So that's why you see the brownish tint on it. And uh, super strong, uh, what do you call fiber strength of Egyptian cotton. It's just absolutely amazing. Super absorption, you know, picks up your e-liquid, giving you intense flavor really nice maximum flavor out there so this is cloth cotton and it's sold for 20 ringgit uh, i got it from the vapors the gadgets same thing but different you know they're both branches in different places so i'm going to leave links in the description box below in case for especially for malaysians you want to pick up one and try it out i've got it here on my kfm uh, v4 it's been vaping really nice so easy to work with mm. I'm so like it. Well, until I talk to you again, thank you so much for watching and have a great week ahead of you. Until I talk to you again, vape safe, vape hard. Cheers. Take it easy. Bye for now.